YouTube, Kevin here. Today we're going to be analyzing the central groove to the cell by the French metal band Gojira. First off, uh, in the original recording, the song is actually played on the closed hi-hat, but I ended up playing it on my uh, stack cymbal. It's whichever way you want to play it. Uh, I mean, as long as you're not playing it on your, you know, your China cymbal or something silly like that. The groove can really be split up into two parts. Uh, parts A and B, we'll call them. Part A, I would say, is conceptually simpler, but more physically difficult to play. It's really just centered around a triplet bass drum pulse. Um, so I'll actually just walk you through each hit. You're going to be playing your right hand and uh, your right foot together. Then you play the left foot on the bass drum. Then your right foot on the bass drum. Then your left hand on the snare. And that is it. <laughs> So you just repeat after that. So it's, it should sound a little bit like this. And you speed it up so it sounds a little more like. The difficulty comes from playing that really fast. Uh, so I would recommend if you don't have that type of pedal speed yet, playing at a lower tempo and then working up to it, you know, maybe increasing by 10 BPM every week until you can finally play it at that speed. Additionally, you can add in extra eighth note hits on the hi-hat if you'd like. Um, I think I hear it a little bit in the album. Again, this is not necessary, but if you want to add in a little extra flair, you could play it like... Uh, something like that. Um, again, not entirely necessarily, but if you want to add in some flair or just make it a little bit more unique, maybe add in some extra hits like that. Now we're going to jump into part B. Um, and part B is, I think, easier to play because it has more feel to it, more of a groove, but it's a little bit more complicated uh, just because there are essentially three or four subsections to consider that are a little different from each other. This groove is, is, is grounded in a doublet pulse. Actually, I think it would be easiest if I just showed you how to play it with the bass drum and the snare, and then the pattern with the snare and the hi-hat, and then fill in, fill in the blanks and combine those two. Okay, so uh, the bass drum snare pattern is pretty simple. You're going to be playing right, left, snare, right, left, snare, right, left, snare. That is it. So here's what it should sound like. It's just repeating. It's a constant pulse. And then you're going to be playing with the, the snare and the hi-hat pattern would be... Separately, these are not too difficult to play, but the difficulty comes from combining them. Now I'm just going to walk you through where these hi-hat hits are going to land relative to the bass drum and snare pattern. Your first hi-hat hit is going to be with your right foot on the first doublet that you play. So, so again, that actually sounds identical to part A. It's just a doublet now. So again, very similar. Um, and then the second time you play the doublet, you are going to hit the hi-hat with your left foot. So similar again to, to uh, that the, the first time you played the doublet. Now you're basically just playing your, your right hand on the hi-hat and your left foot on the bass drum. So again, putting those first two hi-hats together, you have... Now the next time you are going to play the hi-hat will be with the snare drum. So I'll play that for you now. After that, your next hi-hat hit actually just routes back to your first one. So let me play that whole groove all the way, all the way through for you. So at that point it just repeats. Remember your first hi-hat hit is with your right foot on your first doublet hit. Um, your second hi-hat hit is with your left foot on your second doublet hit. Your third hi-hat hit is with your snare drum. And then your, I guess, fourth or first hi-hat hit is just that. You know, you just repeat back to that right foot. So let me again just play the whole part B groove for you. Um, and hopefully you can kind of bring it all together. Then all 
all you have to do is put parts A and B together. Um, and that, actually, I will say that's where I probably had the most challenge. Um, because the timing can be kind of strange. Especially when you're doing uh, part B the second time. It goes on for a long time and it's difficult to figure out where it ends. Um, so if you want, you can count the measures, you can add in a click track. Uh, whatever you want to do to make this a little bit easier. Or just feel it out. I mean, that's kind of how I play the drums. Is I just listen to it and when it sounds right, I play. But that's not obviously the best method to teach. Let me play the entire groove for you, slowly. So it'll go. That's the essence of the groove. I mean, the rest of the song, there isn't anything that's that technical that I would really need to teach you. At that point, I'd recommend just learning by ear. Um, if you're looking for more tools to learn this central groove, um, I would recommend you could look up a drum tab for it. Um, other than that, practice it slow and then get faster if you're struggling with speed. I would say if, if you want to look, if you want to install a click track, record a click track over it so that you know, okay, now it's time to transition into part B. But uh, as far as the main groove goes, it really is just repetition. So keep in mind, your first part A, just in review, it's just a triplet. Part B, all you need to remember, keep that constant bass drum snare pulse going. And then add in your first hi-hat hit on your first right foot hit, second left foot hit, and then with the snare, so. All right, uh, I, think, I think that just about covers it. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments. If not, you know, good luck learning this groove. I know it's one of my favorite Gojira grooves of all time. <laughs> so uh, yeah, happy drumming. Ugh.